Hi dear students, we are moving to next topic of our chapter, Origin of the Harappan Civilization. There are several theories about the origin of Harappan Civilization. The most important among them are uh, foreign origin and indigenous origin. Two theories, uh, foreign origin and indigenous origin. Some scholars believe that this civilization came into existence as a result of sudden migration of people with an urban civilization to the Indus Basin. That means uh, they believed that the uh, Aryans, so they came from Central Asia and uh, they settled on the banks of the river Indus and thus developed a uh, civilization on the banks of the um, uh, river Indus. It is called as a Indus Valley Civilization. Likewise, some historians believed that that theory is known as foreign origin theory. But some others believed that view that trade with Mesopotamia played an important role for the transformation of Harappan civilization from the early stage to the mature phase. But, they, but this theory has been rejected on the ground of no evidence of trade with the Mesopotamia during the early Harappan period has been found. The, some others believed that the, the trade contact between Mesopotamia and Harappa led to the formation of a Harappan civilization. But there was no evidence. In order to prove this theory, there was no evidence. That is why this theory was rejected. Then second theory, indigenous origin. Indigenous means um, once uh, in our India, the uh, Harappan civilization originated from our India. The recent researches uh, shows that uh, roots of the Harappan civilization lie deep in the Indian soil. According to the some historians, the urban Harappan culture was only an outgrowth of the extensive local village cultures and not of foreign origin. It is the uh, emergence of local village cultures and uh, not the foreign origin. It was uh, considered as indigenous origin. These historians have found some similarities between pre-Harappan and proto-Harappan cultures that emerged at Kodiji, Amri and Kalibanka in terms of uh, in which terms of granary defensive walls and long distance trade in these settlements so there are some similarities they find out from these places that is why they thought that the indus valley civilization or the harappan civilization emerged from the from india and it was the um, um, enlargement of local cultures they believed likewise and uh, the, from these historians they concluded that uh, Harappan civilization evolved from these agricultural communities so these are the two theories uh, merged about uh, the origin of uh, Indus Valley people foreign origin and the indigenous origin so you have to study that uh, and uh, next uh, their extension from where it is ex and the Harappan culture extended in a triangular shape Harappan civilization they mainly can see locate the places from where to where it extended mainly it's uh, um, um, boundaries you can see it extended in the west South Kotada is it um, in the west South Kotada and uh, Alangi Erpur in the east and Manda in the north and uh, the south uh, it extended up to Narmada estuaries. West Sutkotkarpur and Alangirpur east and in the uh, Manda in the north and uh, south uh, Narmada in estuaries in the south. This is the extension of uh, extent of the Harappan culture. So um, that you have to uh, remember. And uh, the Harappan culture covered parts of Punjab, Haryana, Sindh, Baluchistan, Gujarat, Rajasthan and the uh, fringes of Western Uttar Pradesh. They, uh, these places, this uh, district it uh, extended in India. And uh, some of the centers of the civilization in India are Manda, Banavali, Kalibankan, Alangirpur, Lothal, Rupar and Rangpur. In recent years, many other sites are excavated, mainly 
from Gujarat, Punjab. Um, Dholavira and Gujarat is the most prominent among them. Dholavira and Gujarat, largest sites of Harappan civilization, however, are Mohanjadaro, Harappa, Kalibankan, and Lothar. You have to remember these uh, four important sites of uh, Harappan civilization, mainly Mohanjadaro, Harappa, Kalibankan, and Lothar. Okay. Then, urban planning. The most important um, important feature of Harappan civilization is they are urban planning. Urban planning. Harappan cities. The most two most important Harappan cities that we studied early. Harappa in Montgomery district of Punjab. Harappa in Montgomery district of uh, Punjab. And uh, Mohanjadaro in Larkana district of Sindh. Now uh, both in Pakistan. Now these uh, Harappa and uh, Mohanjadaro both in Pakistan. So these two cities are linked by the river Indus and its tributaries. Harappa on the banks of the river Revi and uh, the tributary of uh, Indus. And uh, hence the name of the civilization is the Indus Valley Civilization. How did uh, the uh, Harappan civilization got the name as Indus Valley Civilization? Because both of these two sites were found on the banks of the river Indus. That's why it is known as the Indus Valley Civilization. And the very important information uh, to study accordingly. A third city lies at Chan Hudaro. First one Harappa, second Mohan Jadaro, and third one Chan Hudaro, about 130 kilometers south of Mohan Jadaro. The fourth city is that at uh, Lothal in Gujarat and head of the Gulf of Cambay. The fifth city lies at Kalibangan in Rajasthan. Kalibangan in Rajasthan and sixth called uh, Banawali in uh, situated Hisar district in Haryana. These are the most important cities uh, uh, find out fr um, from uh, Indus Valley Civilization. Later Harappan phase uh, uh, has been uh, discovered uh, in Dangapur in Kathiawar in Gujarat. Later Harappan phase, uh, well, not the first, uh, second Harappan phase uh, find out from Rangpur in Kathiawar in Gujarat. So these are the important cities uh, that are uh, excavated by the um, archaeologist as a um, Indus Valley Civilization. Then what are their uh, features of urban planning? Common features between Mohan Jadaro and Harappa also they are both located more common features of uh, um, Mohan Jadaro and Harappa. Both are located on river banks. Both are located on river banks. Mohan Jadaro on the right bank of the Indus and Harappa on the left bank of the uh, river Revi. I said the uh, Devi is the tributary of uh, river Indus. Both measured around 5 km in circuit. Both have some important significance. Uh. Both measured around uh, 5 km in circuit. Uh. Ground plans including layout of streets, blocks of houses were common to both these cities. Water supply, drainage, granaries were common. Water supply, drainage, granaries were common. Indoor plumbing, uh, powder, uh, bathrooms, brick train pipes, a network of uh, brick lined sewage channel, etc. is seen in both the cities. These are the common elements between uh, Harappa and uh, Mohan Chadar that you have to study. Some questions are from there. Then what are the features of urban planning? What are the common features of urban planning? The most striking feature of Harappan uh, civilization is its uh, urban planning. Very important. Most striking feature of uh, Harappan civilization is its urban planning. Mesopotamian civilization uh, developed on the banks of the river uh, Euphrates and Tigris in modern Iraq. And Sumerian cities developed around the temple and, and followed a circular pattern. What about in the cities? It followed a grid pattern. Just like uh, this way you can see grid pattern. Likewise, grid pattern. The main characteristics of a town planning. What are the main uh, characteristics of a town planning? First one, each city was divided into two parts. 
the raised area called citadel and the lower town. City was divided into two parts, citadel and lower town. The citadel owed its height to the buildings which were constructed on mud rock platforms. The citadel was separated from the lower town by a wall. Citadel separated uh, from the lower town by a wall. And that means important buildings like Great Bath, Granary, Assembly Hall and the workshops were located on the citadel. What about a lower town? In the lower town residential buildings were uh, found. The, and the lower town had the residential buildings where the people lived and worked here. Then second feature, the main streets are followed a grid pattern running from north to south, from east to west that I showed here, grid pattern. And uh, third one, the houses at street corners were rounded to allow cars to pass easily. Houses at street corners were rounded to allow cars to pass easily. And the house trains emptied all wastewater into the street trains. That is why I said they were highly, uh, and, uh, highly um, developed people. The streets cross the main road at right angles, dividing the city into square or rectangular blocks. These are the main characteristics of town planning. You have to study two or three points from here as your likes and dislikes. Okay. Then houses. The main characteristics of the houses were the following. The residential buildings were built according to a set plan on a high mound in order to protect them from floods. High mound means high, high region or a high range region or in a raised platform that is high mound in order to uh, protect them from the floods the residential buildings found in the high mound region in order to protect them from flood likewise you can study then second point there were variations in the size of houses on the basis of uh, people who lived in the lower uh, town uh, lower town they are uh, the common people they are the um, variations in the sizes of that is why variations in this uh, size of houses we can we could see from single room tenements to bigger houses with the courtyards up to tall rooms uh, private wells and toilets can see and uh, each house has had covered uh, trains connected with the uh, street trains that is why it said that they give much more importance to hygiene they are the hygienic people and third point the entrances to the houses were from the narrow lines which cut the streets at the right angles and uh, fourth point the kitchen was placed in a sheltered corner of the courtyard and the ground floor contained storerooms and well chambers and fifth point the houses were made of brick and uh, wood the houses were made of they used the things such as brick and wood for the construction of uh, houses the doors and windows were opened in the streets and not on the main roads opened in the streets and not on the main roads these are the features of uh, houses you have to study and uh, what are the monumental architecture that we studied uh, the great bath the last class two important monumental uh, architecture can we could see in the uh, harappan civilization first one the great bath and second one is the granary great bath we had already studied last class and what about the granaries Granaries have been found at several sites um, from where and where Mohanjadaro, Harappa, Lothal and Kalibangal. These places we could see the granaries um, Mohanjadaro, Harappa, Lothal and Kalibangal. But uh, at Harappa there were two rows of six granaries. Harappa a gra large granary could see that is that is uh, two rows of six granaries. To the south of granaries at Gaharapa, working floors consisting of rows of circular brick platforms were discovered. Rows of circular brick platform were discovered. It is believed that for what purpose this circular brick platform used. You, can, you could see the picture here, granaries. 
it is believed that these floors were meant for threshing grain uh, threshing for threshing the grain because wheat and barley grains were found in the crevices of the floors the small openings of the uh, floor that is called a crevices so uh, we could see and um, the historians could see and the um, remains of uh, barley and uh, wheat grains uh, through these crevices that is why they believed that this floor they use for circular brick platform they use for the threshing of uh, these grains two roomed barracks which possibly accommodated laborers have also been found at harappa two roomed barracks were also found at harappa the location of harappa near the river revi suggests that food grains were brought to this place by boat on the banks of the uh, river revi they suggest that food grains uh, brought to here uh, through the boat it was built on the raised platform to protect it from floods the granary had a ventilation to prevent the grains from becoming mild water so these are the things you have to study in these topics